Oh boy, have I got a DVD and Blu-ray up today to show you all now, huh? <laughs> I ended up getting quite a lot of gift cards this uh, past Christmas, especially thanks to my dad who gave me a Best Buy gift card that he had no use for, but unknowns to him it had $200 on it. <laughs> Wait until you see what I used that money on. <laughs> so starting off with the DVDs this time... The first one I'm going to show you is a movie that was based off a book that I read in high school, but unlike almost every book that I've had to read in college or high school, I actually ended up liking that book, and I eventually ended up reading all the other young adult books that that author had written, even though I actually only ended up liking half of her books, but whatever. And I actually saw this movie when I was in high school as well, because Ma, my mother, was a high, is a high school teacher, and she just happened to have this in her classroom, but it took me forever to pick up the movie version of Speak, starring Kristen Stewart as the title role before she was Bella Swan. <laughs> yeah. If you've, um heard of this book or movie, you know what it's about. If you haven't, well, um, basically it's about a teenage ager who um, has become an outcast because she uh, busted a, a party and it deals with her, you know, being depressed and just not being enthusiastic about life, but then towards the end of the movie she begins to um, gradually fix herself, but not too much actually happens to her. Just all of a sudden one day she just gets up and things start getting better. But there's a twist that occurs halfway into the book of the movie that explains why she busted the party. There you go. Now, this next one I'm going to show you is Season 5 of a TV show that I've seen a few episodes of, but I've shown you in past updates. It's Smallville! <laughs> and one thing that's interesting is that, like, I've got three different, uh versions of packaging for Smallville seasons, because this is, you know, an unfold set. Season 1 is like a huge keep case, and seasons 2, 3, and 4 have like flip trays that are built into the actual spine. Hmm, interesting. Getting the last season of this show that I can get on DVD, even though there's actually only two out of the five seasons released on DVD, I got Celebrity Mole Hawaii. So now I have 11 out of 13 English mole-speaking seasons, but that's all I'm going to get. And the ones that I don't have are Mole UK 1, because that cast just did not have that much personality and wasn't interesting, and Mole Australia 4, because that cast just freaking sucked. Couldn't work together to save their lives, but you actually can't find any of the Mole Australia seasons like anywhere now, which is kind of unfortunate, because those seasons are pretty good. If you ask me. Completing um, the DVD collection for this show as of um, when I'm recording this, because the uh, DVD companies are a couple seasons behind releasing this show, I got season 14 of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> And now that I'm finally caught up on DVDs, I can actually make a review of um, that show up to all the seasons that I've seen to date. I haven't seen anything beyond season 14 because I've been collecting the DVDs as they came out. It's just one of those shows. So, ow! It's a little annoying that I'm never perfectly up to date. Right. Now, these next three that I'm going to show you supposedly complete my collection for this particular TV show, but as I mentioned in my last DVD update video, even if you get all the season sets, including the pilot DVD of this show, you're actually missing quite a few episodes, even though the total is not that much out of the actual number of episodes that this show has. Trust me on this. I'll be making a video about um, what episodes aren't out for this particular show at some point in the near future. But anyway, I've got seasons 8, 9, and 10 of Mythbusters. So I've got every official season release of the show, 1 through 11, plus the pilot DVD. But as I said, it doesn't have um, all the episodes of the actual show. It gives you either 246 or 247 out of... Um, 282, even though eight of the shows that you're missing are clip shows. 
Now, if you go out and buy this next DVD, which is um, Discovery Channel's Best of Collection, uh, Volume 4, it gives you um, five um, DVDs, one for um, a different show. One of them is being Mythbusters, and you get these two episodes, Outtakes and Mythbusters Revealed. But... If you buy um, the first Mythbusters collection, so Mythbusters Collection Volume 1, you also get two more episodes, Shop to You Drop and Hollywood on Trial, but it does contain duplicates in um, that set of other episodes. And unfortunately, those two episodes that I mentioned, they're on uh, different discs, as you can uh, see here. So I just kept the discs that I needed and... Uh, Put the episode list here so you can tell uh, where they are. As I said, I'll uh, make a video that describes this more in depth in a bit. Next up, um, getting the last TV show of this franchise that I needed to get, even though I ended up getting the TV show before the book, I picked up... Alex Haley's Queen. And now, a few of you may not have heard of this and be wondering how does this fit into the Roots saga. Well, if you um, look at Roots, the original series, and Roots the Next Generation, you'll realize that despite Roots the Next Generation spending a good amount of time on Alex Haley and his father Simon at the end, the sh those miniseries are tracing his mother's side of the family from Kunta Kinte all the way to his mother and then him. Well, this supposedly talks about his paternal side, even though in actuality it focuses on um, Alex Harry's paternal grandmother and her parents. But this was actually a real good uh, miniseries. I actually like this better than Roots the Next Generation, to be honest. This felt a lot less day did and just was pretty engaging to me. Oh, it's depressing in some instances, but it's meant to be, and just, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Though I don't think I'm going to pick up the book now, because um, if the indication of the original book to the original series is any indication, the book is going to be a lot more negative than the show, so, yeah. But as most people are aware of now, um, those books aren't actually complete fact, right? That's a huge debate, I don't need to go into that. Now, um, I actually had two of these um, next four DVDs that I'm going to show you a long time ago when I made my first DVD and Blu-ray update, but I have sold them. But recently I got a desire to check out this TV show again, especially since I developed a celeb crush on the show's lead. <laughs> so I went out and managed to find four out of five volumes of the TV show. Victorious. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, wait a minute. I know what these are. What the heck is this one? Well, as you can see, this is Season 3, Volume 2. Now I know what you're thinking. Season 1 was never released. Well, actually, it was never released in the U.S. In Australia, it was released, and along with, um, one of the region codes in Europe that isn't uh, Britain, so I think it's region free. So you can actually find this DVD along with um, Season 3 Volume 1 elsewhere. Now I found somebody on eBay US that was um, selling this, so I ended up purchasing it, but I couldn't find uh, Season 3 Volume 1 anywhere that would ship to America, which was um, kind of depressing, but hey, I got them. And I do have ways to download the episodes, but since I've, you know, um, got official DVD releases for all the rest, I'd like to get the last one, you know, but these are all actually uh, pretty cheap, and I do have a lot more to show than I uh, don't have, right. And finally, this is going to be a little trick to show. Ah. That. Can't get it as close as I'd like. Alright. 
So this is um, a franchise that many of you will rec recognize right off the bat, and I decided it's about time that I in include more of this franchise in my collection than just two of the recent movies released in the last decade, because this franchise has been around for 50 years. So what am I talking about? Well, I've got films 1 through 10 of... Star Trek! <laughs> and a funny thing, I ended up getting uh, the movies for these crews separately, where I picked up the Next Generation movies, I actually ended up getting the Canadian <laughs> releases of these. That's pretty amusing, isn't it? And if you're wondering why I have the DVDs and not the Blu-rays, it's because um, all of those movies, with the exception of The Wrath of Khan, haven't been transferred over to Blu-ray that, well, according to Zaren Izarak and company, but even The Wrath of Khan Blu-ray, apparently it doesn't have its director's cut, based on what I've heard, so... I'm avoiding all those Blu-rays until they actually get it right. I got all of those for like $4.50 a piece, something like that, so I'm good. Okay, we're getting a little long on the time here, so I'll see you in part two while I show you the Blu-rays.